A lot of people saying we should stick through Rampage through at least Arthur Ashe. All right. Well. Which will probably be a two-hour show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this this show was fine. I don't mind. If Rampage is going to be like this, I don't mind. It was fine this week. It was not terribly newsworthy, but it, I... But it was a fine television I had show. things to say. The, 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 the issue is not that Rampage is necessarily good or bad or, or important or trivial. Is, is do I have anything to say about what I'm watching? And I have stuff to say about this week's show. So that's a, that's a huge improvement in that sense. Curry Head says, why don't you do a call-in show on Sundays? Bro. Because you'd call. <laughs> Kidding me? Gotcha right there. All right. What do we got? Uh, this person here says, Brian and Vinny, do you think Rampage should be reformatted into Ring of Honor Rampage? Sucks. It's obvious Tony Khan doesn't care about Rampage. You know, he does care about Rampage. It's like when 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 uh, when Raw used to be really shitty, and people would go, you know, uh, Vince, he just doesn't care anymore. He just doesn't care. I always remember thinking, bro, he cares more than fucking ever. Dude, you don't rewrite a show 50 times and tear the script up on Monday afternoon and have him rewrite during the show if you don't fucking care. If you don't care, you just go write the fucking script. I don't give a shit what's on TV. You show up, you go work out of the gym, you... Do a check mark. You put what? That's a guy that doesn't care. A guy who doesn't care doesn't go in there and no, I don't want to do this. No, I'm going to micromanage that. No, I'm going to yell at this guy in commentary. No, I'm going to rewrite. Tony Khan cares about Rampage. If you don't like the show, if you think the show is is not what it used to be or not enough big, that's fine. Okay, you're welcome to think whatever you want, but he does care. He's got some sort of idea. I don't know what it is. But uh, he has an idea. He does care about this program. Now, as far as rebranding it or something, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point Rampage got rebranded. I mean, it's practically rebranded now. I mean, the big stars and the main acts and the main storylines are all on Dynamite. And you'll have some small, you know, you'll have things here and there. You'll have a tournament match. You'll have a, uh, you know, some angle will move up a forward a little bit. But in general... In general, 90% of what they do is on Dynamite. So, at the end of the day, if Ring of Honor can't get national television, and you want national television, then you may as well have all of the main Dynamite stuff, all the main AEW stuff on Dynamite, and have Friday be Ring of Honor, and try and build it up that way. If, you are, yeah. if you're going to make Ring of Honor its own separate promotion that needs its own TV show, yeah. then it should be that Friday time slot. Yeah, that, lets, that lets you, it gives you, I don't want to excuse the right word, but it gives you a convenient reason to make the two shows separate. Rampage should not be Dynamite on Friday nights. It should be a totally different show, which have a different feel, a uh, different roster, although there can be some overlap, a different set of champions for sure. So yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. If, uh, if, they can't, if, they can't get, if there's no other way to get a show for Ring of Honor, that's a very good solution. Do you think we will get Will Ospreay, Kenny Omega in a singles match, and will they or will they save it for the Tokyo Dome in January? I would be stunned if it was not saved for the Tokyo Dome. Well, I think the Tokyo Dome is is significantly more likely, but yeah. dude, you got to remember, one guy is under AEW contract, and one guy is under New Japan New Japan contract, yes. and uh, you guys have to also remember that the. Uh, uh, joint show they did with New Japan, their Forbidden Door, mm -hmm. they got that uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus John Moxley match. That's true. Which was probably going to be, was almost surely going to be a New Japan match, but they got it for AEW. So it only makes sense that they probably owe New Japan a big match. Mm. And I would not be surprised if it were Will Ospreay and, and Kenny Omega. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. But that would be my speculation. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She gets a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious, do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.